Let's get some reaction now. Here in the studio, we're joined by a friend of the show, chair of, Republic, of the Republicans overseas, sorry. Greg Swenson joins us now. Greg, um, this is something which has become kind of so commonplace in the news cycle now, we almost get immune to it. But of course, when we see the humanity of it there, and it's brought into stock relief, inevitably now the conversation will be moving on to gun control in America. Um, has that conversation already started? And where do you think sit on that? Do you think that's the answer? It, it, it's definitely not the answer. Um, we know that for sure. It, it hasn't really been discussed as much as, you know, some other mass shootings. You know, after the Michigan State shooting, it was, it was a big topic. I think there are other things going on right now. Um, plus, you have a state, uh, Maine is a state with very high gun ownership, and it's very low crime. So it's, it's counterintuitive, but the more gun ownership there is, the, the, the less crime. But when I say gun ownership, I mean legal gun ownership. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 there are reports out today saying that gun ownership has gone up in the last three days since this incident started. So the average so, American, their reaction um, isn't let's all give up guns. Their reaction is to go out and get one that, to protect themselves. Yes, and th this is a real black swan moment. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's not common that you see this, especially in rural areas like, like Lewiston, Maine. But, but the crime in the cities has caused people to, to go out and buy guns. And, and gun ownership has gone up for minorities because 80% of the victims in Chicago, for example, are, are African-American. And then um, w women are buying guns because they don't feel safe. So what's happening, especially in these Democratic blue state, blue cities, they're not prosecuting gun crimes. So if you don't prosecute gun crimes, you're likely to have more guns used in crime. And so, so women are, you know, the, the spread between male ownership and female ownership in 1973 was about 40 points. And, and are men going out and buying more guns? No, women are buying women guns. Are now it's 23. Amazing. I'm not spreads only 23. Mm. Are you? I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not sure it's the answer, but I'm not surprised that's your gut reaction. Mm. And if I'd been trapped in in my house or in an attic in in Maine in the last few days, that would be my reaction. Is how otherwise? How do you defend yourself? Look. And I'm saying that as somebody who opposes guns. Yeah. But but maybe you can't ever put that back in Pandora's box, can you? The fact that that. In America, you have a right to bear arms, and people fundamentally believe in that right. Right. And therefore, the gun ownership is very big. And you can't ask people to give them up now, can you? I mean, it no. will never happen, will it? No, it, it won't. I mean, there's, the only way to do it would be to repeal the Second Amendment. Not likely. It's, it's always been a political loser. But more importantly, most people that own guns, 99.9% .9 of gun owners, don't shoot people. You know, this is a, a very small mm. group. And, and most of these guns are obtained illegally. You know, 80 percent of gun crimes are, are with guns that were obtained illegally. Guns are illegal in Chicago, and yet the homicide rate is, you know, has gone up in the last, you know, since the defund the police movement. What's happening is these Soros-backed DAs, district attorneys, it's not just that they're failing to prosecute gun crimes, they're refusing to do it. So why have more gun laws? The, the, any additional gun laws would only be applied to to people that don't break the law. Yeah, Greg, something else that's, that's noteworthy of this case, Robert Codd was known to the authorities as a guy with mental health right. issues. He'd heard voices, he'd been appraised, and that was already public knowledge. How can a person like that get their hands on a firearm? Yeah, and he, and he was an Army reservist too, so he knew how to handle a weapon, which is mm. all the more you know, unpleasant. And so, uh, look, I, you know, it's clear that we have a mental health problem in the U.S. It's not a gun problem. It's, it's a mental health issue. And so, and that's not to stigmatize, stigmatize mental health in general. And that, I think that's why people are cautious about making too big a deal out of that, because most people with mental health issues are not violent criminals. And so, but it's clear that if you look at all of the, the mass shooting cases in the last few years, almost all of them are people that have serious mental health issues, are many of whom are medicated or should have been medicated. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's people who've been um, expelled from a school, or in this case, and, and you hear it a lot, he'd just been fired from his job, apparently. Yeah. Um, something, and often so maybe it's a marital problem as well, mm -hmm. something triggers their mental health problem to go even worse. Yeah, and it's usually, you know, very lonely people with, with some anger issues, obviously. So, you know, and, and, and suicidal, of course. And, and as, as it turns out, um, that was the case with, with, um, with the Lewiston, Maine So how do you situation. stop these things happening? It's, it's difficult. I think, I think addressing the mental health issues, um, even to the point where, you know, red flag laws are, 
are a little bit delicate because you're, you're, then you're getting into Fifth Amendment issues. You know, I could call and just say Martin has some issues and he's going to go buy a gun, and mm. even though you're not, and it just so you know, we have to be careful on that too. But but clearly, the, the you know, the in, indicating, telling law enforcement when someone is talking about shooting people, that yeah. seems like a no-brainer. In California, they just passed a law that makes it illegal for school administrators to tell the police that a, a student has had those conversations, you know, because they, the left seems to be protecting criminals much more than they're protecting victims right now. And that's why you see higher gun ownership. Okay, great. Swenson, thank you for that. Good to be here, Mark. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.